Six things about women your dad should have told you. Number one, work on yourself. Women love men with resources. If he has a high value job or he's in a gym and he looks good, he makes money, or even just some type of value, women love men with resources. Number two, always smell good. Even if you're not the best looking guy out there, if you're smelling good and you're looking good, trust me, women are going to be attracted to you regardless. Just make sure you always smell good. Number three, keep your own opinions. Whether she says she likes something or not, that doesn't mean you have to say, I like the same thing. Women love a person, that, a man that believes in what he believes in and stand up for what he stands up for. Like, don't always got to be a yes man. Women do not love yes men. They feel you see you guys as weak and feeble. Same shit, but yeah. No one is over. Don't ever push it. If you see she's not responding fast enough, if she's not trying to link you, if she's not trying to FaceTime, just know she's not interested in you. It's about time you just cut it off. Keep your dignity. Always dress right. Dress right for the occasion and sometimes even outdress everybody else. You know, that's follow for more if you want more tips on that. Hi everybody, I'm here to renew manliness and assist with making men full stack. How about we jump into the 10 regulations? Number one, investments do not lead to appreciation. This one we need to examine in light of the fact that this is quite possibly the greatest driving variable that I see with men who reliably have sharpness towards the ladies that they're dating. At the point when I say investment don't prompt appreciation, this is what is a rule you will see. Men reliably part ways with ladies, and they will all say something like she was so unappreciative. Here's the reason, men will regularly attempt to leave the relationship or show fascination, or eventually say fascination through things that they can accomplish for the lady. These can be things like, I took her to Mexico, and we didn't have closeness of all time. We had zero closeness, not even one time. At the point when I would attempt to start it around evening time, she would agree that, that she's not in that frame of mind. You need to recollect this. The man is staying there going, hello, the investment that I put into this, I burned through five grands on airfare. I burned through 2000 on an inn. I spent a fabulous on food. For what reason doesn't that prompt appreciation and fascination? Her mind doesn't work the same way yours does, which will bring me directly into point number two. The second law of female nature checks out in your mind as a man for what the lady ought to be drawn to won't ever seem okay in that lady's heart. I feel that you ought to peruse that once again for yourself. What appears to be legit in your mind for how fascination ought to work is never going to seem okay in that lady's heart. Men will reliably attempt to utilize rationale and motivation to sort out the thing that lady is thinking or what that lady is feeling. In reality, it is generally totally converse. On the off chance that you can simply acknowledge this assertion, meaning whether you concur or contradict that, whether it causes you to feel better or it causes you to feel terrible, on the off chance that you can emerge out of a position of acknowledgement and say this is the way things are, you will have a vastly improved time dating and at last, you will have a lot more straightforward time drawing in and keeping the kinds of ladies that you for practically forever needed to get. Number three, commitment monogamously annihilates closeness in the room assuming that is the thing you're searching for. Regardless of whether you're down mindful, you can be the best PUA, you can be perfect at enticement, you can be perfect at game, you can be extremely appealing genuinely, yet here's the reality. The second that there is any kind of commitment, you annihilate the criticalness that comes from the lady pondering when is the in the future she'll get to see you. Coherent sense in your mind doesn't check out in a lady's heart. You would think, hello, we will hang out. In this way, the additional time we spend together, the more open doors we will have for playtime with closeness. Unfortunately, this isn't the manner by which it works. Any kind of responsibility, regardless of what your identity is, will demolish things. The subsequent there is commitment where both of you are seeing each other each and every day, residing in a similar spot. It will obliterate your desired closeness. This will annihilate the closeness that you believed was so perfect in the first place when you folks didn't have the foggiest idea when is the next time you would see one another. Indeed, an assertion of acknowledgement. This is the kind of thing you need to acknowledge. Point number four, all ladies are gradually pulled towards a risk or an evil of some kind of some kind. This is an acknowledgement articulation that should come to the front. 
Ladies are gradually maneuvered into these things, gradually allured. You can be the best person on the planet. You can be the most noteworthy worth person on the planet. Yet the second the terrible kid comes, there's continuously going to be that slight expectation. Regardless of whether she follows up on it, there is going to be sheer resolve and the degree and the profundity of self-control that that lady will have. What you cannot deny it is that very much like you're designed for that hargless figure, every one of them are pulled towards risk or insidiousness. There resembles a tempting component towards it, practically beyond their control. That is only an explanation of reality. That is an assertion of truth, and you need to acknowledge it to date genuinely. Number 5. Ladies esteem endurance esteem in a man. Men esteem the replication or the regenerative worth in that lady. At the point when I say conceptive or replication esteem folks search for, you need to comprehend your temperament, and the things you're searching for are the driving variables of your fascination versus the total inverse, and what that lady is drawn to. At the point when a man sees a wonderful lady, or when a man sees specific hard glass figure, certain shapes, certain magnificence markers, the primary point he would make to himself is, I need to proceed to get to know her. I need to go check whether we have science, since that not too far off is a pointer. That is crude destroying according to him. Nonetheless, we should accept this on the other side. What does the endurance worth of that lady mean when she feels fascination? Endurance esteem is things like the way that, would he say he is prepared socially? Does he have social adjustment? Assuming he strolls into a bar or eatery or club, is there different men that immediately rush towards him and need to know him, need to meet him, need to convey a discussion with him? These will be marks of endurance. Here's the reason this is so significant. Assuming you take a gander at science, if you take a gander at how people were a long time back, if you didn't have societal position locally that you were in, there's a few terrible things that could happen like renunciation. You could be prohibited from the local area. You could be rejected from any individuals that you were encircled by. The ones who reliably had smartest options for endurance were the ones of status. Furthermore, on the grounds that that is wired so profound through many years, you need to comprehend that your triggers for fascination will be perfect inverse, and that is not a problem. At the point when you really comprehend them, they will serve you obviously better than battling them without holding back. Number 6. All affection is restrictive. Unconditional love can't exist. When that individual changes, when the agreements of that relationship changes, when what it is today that it was not three months prior, the circumstances for that affection will change. You reliably see individuals select into a relationship. They put on veils or they put on specific camouflages as to act who they believe that individual should be. However, after some time you begin to see the genuine them. Out of nowhere, the circumstances for affection are the circumstances for those feelings that had you snared or had her snared before all else reliably change. Number 7. If a lady is appealing in your eyes, doesn't make her great of course. This doesn't make the lady high worth. There are such countless men who view it excellence as a sign of engaging quality. At the point when there's awful way of behaving, that fixture begins to close and the consideration evaporates. That implies less instant messages, less discussions, more limited instant messages and less commitment. Those things really tell that you know the best way to esteem your value as a man. Number 10. Understand the statements of belief that hold you back. If you have a statement of belief and you have a guide, he says, hey, she's not my soulmate, or she isn't the one for me, or she is the one for me. These are explanations of conviction. At the point when you talk something into reality, you have the decision to accept on the off chance that that it is valid or not. What I would strongly suggest is each assertion of conviction that you put out into the world, you need to recognize assuming it is the right assertion of conviction for you. Assuming the conviction is serving you or on the other hand, if the conviction that you view as obvious is misleading, it's keeping you down. In the event that these 10 focuses reverberated, 
If it's not too much trouble, hit the like button, remark, and buy in, and we will see you in the following one.